And here's a special drone right here. And uh, hi, so who are you? I'm David Rida, co-founder of uh, Rigi Technologies, which is a drone logistics solution company. So this is, uh, I see uh, five uh, motors, motors yeah. going on. So, so how the, does it work? The drone is vertical takeoff and landing, so it will take off and land like this using these four propellers. Once it reaches 50 meters, this propeller will turn on and it will fly as an airplane, Ooh. reaching 80 kilometers distance. What do you say? 80 kilometers distance. 80? Yes, 80. 80. With this side, no, this side. This is the one right here. Um, 80 kilometers is enough to go from one side of Switzerland to the other, nearly. Right? <laughs> Almost there. Yeah. Almost? So, um, is this also flying or is it only mock-up? No, this is a, only a mock-up for now. The, the real drone is there because we transport three kilograms in 15 liters. So a box that is a shoe size box, more or less. That's pretty much 80% of my Amazon purchases. Exactly. But uh, That's is that how we, what it's for? Yes. Really? So basically it was developed from the box to the drone. Instead of saying, here is a drone, whatever fits inside will be the box. We developed first the box to the specs of 80% of Amazon's um, deliveries. How many percent? 80 percent. 80 percent? Yeah. I just said 80 out of uh, a... It's, it's exactly 80 percent. 80 percent, yeah. So, do you, so, does this one open? Yeah. So basically, in order to protect the box while flying, yeah. the box goes inside the drone. So you fit the, the, the box inside, you close it, and the drone is fully autonomous. It will take off and do the mission. Because the ultimate dream of drone delivery is to have vertical takeoff and airplane styles. That's this the is the best way to do it? That's the most efficient way to do it. There's, a, there's another company, the Wingstra. How, how do you compare it with them? Uh, so Wingstra is a good company. It's yeah? a good mapping company. Uh, so they're, a lot for mapping. They're mapping yeah. But it's not for delivery. It's not delivery. So this they do one mapping. is delivery. We're only doing deliveries. So I think drones need to be fitted for a purpose. And there's different specs that actually make a drone great at their purpose. Uh, for us, for example, we are only a cargo company. Only we, cargo? Yes. We don't fit cameras inside. We use it for, uh, for delivery. But you should definitely be delivering uh, you know, all these uh, health emergency equipment too. Exactly. So whenever people have uh, a heart attack, something like that, you need to have the thing that can Could be. save them. Could be. So basically, our first target market will be healthcare. We're now working with um, laboratories in Switzerland. We do blood delivery. So all the laboratories that are peripheral will be connected to the central laboratory on an ongoing basis using a, an air bridge from the drones. So that means three kilos of blood? How many, how many, how many kilos? Up to three kilos. Three kilos that's, of blood, that's a lot? Uh, Is that's that enough more than for enough. emergency? That's more than enough, yeah. And there's, it happens a lot that there's uh, emergencies right so, now and there's no solution? So with, with the laboratories, it's not only emergencies, but we do an ongoing route. Every day, we collect all the bloods that the patients are taking to, to do a lab test and bringing them to the laboratories. Because you need to be quick. Exactly. That's, that's the efficiency. And also, in cases of emergency, more in the African world, when there is an, efficient, uh, an emergency, you need to send blood, but this is a blood bag. And you can put three liters of blood bags and send it all the way to 80 kilometers to the clinic. So uh, one thing I was always thinking that drone companies could do potentially is do a battery swapping. But you don't need that. You have 80 kilometers of range. And, and how can there be enough power for that? So where is the, where's the, the batteries? The batteries are holding inside here. If you the, see it in, the batteries are here, in inside front. in the front, yes. So the, the front will be swappable. So only this part here is the batteries. And all the rest is, is cargo. And this battery is enough for 80 kilometers? Yes, basically any fixed wing is very efficient on its own. So basically we have the lift from the wings that allow us to only use this propeller. The only inefficient time, it's 1% of the time where you're landing and taking off where you use the four motors. But two lithium polymer batteries are enough for our mission right now. So I'm thinking definitely you should be able to swap the front. We could. It should automate it. So whenever you need, you just swap the sure. front. This is why we're, we're actually in the middle of a financing round to do all these things. So we want to start uh, the operations, we want to increase the engineering on uh, swapping batteries and all these features. But the one that I'm seeing behind you up there, is it, does it fly? Is it real? Uh, that's, a, 
this one here, that's a marketing mock-up. If you see, there is holes where the ESCs go. So that's a component that we're not, uh, we're not bringing, but there's holes for the ESCs. What is but the ESC? Uh, what? ESC is the uh, control, speed control from the motors. So what actually tells the motor at which speed needs to turn every time and controls the current that goes in and out. So marketing mock-up, but you have another is it flying for real or is it yes. still a project? No, no, no. We, we're flying for real. We fly every day in Switzerland. And uh, we have uh, the operations are starting the 1st of January with the clients. So it's real. It's flying. 1st of January operations. So Google has tried. They haven't really done it yet. And all the, uh, everybody wants this, right? So are, are you the best in doing this ultimate drone delivery dream? or? So we're, we're quite new. Uh, the main thing is like we're focusing on another type of deliveries. Google, Marinette, all these big companies, Amazon. Amazon, they're focused on urban deliveries. And they're good at it. We are focusing on intercity deliveries. We want to connect cities. We look, that's why we fly long range. But we're not actually looking at the urban market. It's too small for us. Couldn't you also be part of the, all the cities too? It doesn't make Vertical sense. is good in the city too. Exactly, but it doesn't make sense to have a drone that size if I'm going to do five kilometers. Oh yeah. I think we're, that's why I, I don't see them as a competitor to us. But we all see the more. A, yes, exactly. All that's where we are complementary. That's where say. eighty percent of the people are. Not quite, but uh, that's where a lot of people are. Yes, uh, and I think there's two models. In One, Switzerland, there's a lot of it. Villages. Exactly. So Switzerland is good for intercity. This is why being a Swiss company makes sense for us to, to start by intercity. There are other mega urban that uh, will be good for urban uh, urban drones. So I think we can all coexist there and there's enough space and room for all of us. So 1st of January in Switzerland, I can go and click, buy something, and in 15 minutes it's outside? Or how, how, I mean, no. what's the so, ultimate dream? So we're starting the operation with one route and it's mainly going to be blood delivery for blood samples in this case. I think e-commerce will come later, at a later stage. Later in 2020? No, no, later regu when regulations allow. I think uh, regulators are actually now working on that. Uh, right now, it's only allowed to do A to B deliveries, so you need to state the points where you're taking off and landing at all times. So for now, we need to find use cases that make sense on a B2B basis. So inside the same company, not not uh, you order something one day and the drone comes to your backyard. But let's say I'm a regulator and I say go ahead. How far in the future do we have this? We're That's ready. So for us, we're ready, ready. Uh, when the regulations state that. So for us to do multiple point deliveries or point to point is only a matter of, uh, of the regulators allowing it. But could you have a system that automates the loading yes. and unloading and all that stuff? Um, we have maybe So right now, the, the drone that you see here, can, there's another version that can open underneath and drop a package if we need to. Under? Under, yeah. So it can drop a package if needed. Right now, because of the operations that we're doing, we don't really need that yet. Uh, but if e-commerce starts being an actual uh, reality, then we will uh, start dropping the packages. A little well. weatherproof package and, and boom. It's just in exactly. the garden. Exactly. And when you come home, it's there. Exactly. All right. Um, cool. talk about uh, pricing or business models or anything or uh, we can I'm, I'm not gonna give uh, specific prices but the, the main idea that we have here the what it compares to other drones is that this is not a single use drone or a use that you uh, that you do every once a month here you have a drone that needs to be operating all the time at least four hours a day that's the minimum for this drone to be viable and that comes with maintenance so our thinking is not to sell just the hardware, but basically it's a whole maintenance solution where you have software, the cloud software that comes with it, that controls all the uh, deliveries and tracks all the deliveries. You have the cold chain boxes that you need inside and the drones and the landing sites. And it's a monthly payment for that service. We're not 24 hours during the day of operation. Yes, if, it, if it's needed, you can do 24 hours operation. <laughs>